So hi, we are getting ready for the corn maze. Um, and I'm going for a fall look. You're gonna do possibly a fall look. Fall yeah. look. Okay. Um, so I brought like all the makeup <laughs> that I'm gonna use basically in here. Plus I wanna I think I'm gonna do a dark lip. But we're not sure the look I'm going for, to be honest. So I'm not sure what I'm doing. What are your plans? Um, I always do like really basic everything. So I'll probably just do a little bit of like orange-ish eyeshadow sparkles. That's about it. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So we're going to get ready and you guys can get ready with us for the corn maze. And I'm very excited. I'm, I feel very tired. I don't know if I used like all my energy this morning, but now I'm just like tired, but I'm like, it's literally 4.43. I can't be falling asleep. It's just been, you know, it's not going to work. So should we like say what we're doing each step of the way and like what fabrics we use? That's, that's a good idea. Okay. You go first. I was going to say, um, Okay, so I always start with skin prep because um, I always focus more on the face face. And so I'm just re I did this this morning, but since it's the afternoon now, I'm reapplying sunscreen. I use the Cetaphil 35 SPF, um, usually about four pumps of that to get on the face and the neck. Nice. Yeah. Because this just like helps your foundation go on so much smoother mm -hmm. so your skin's moisturized well we have to look good because Savannah mentioned doing a photo shoot at the cornfield well don't you want to do one yeah i've never been to a corn maze so <laughs> i'm excited and i'm just using the urban decay eyeshadow primer um and putting this on my lids because i have oily eyelids and i need my makeup to stay especially if we're going to do cute pictures also always put on i have the most massive tub ever a vaseline because i'm always like spend more time on prep than actually i'm like doing my makeup yeah okay i just kind of wipe it off my fingers the excess and then i'm going my tartlet and bloom palette in the shade flower child well, you can see I feel like that's my perfect like matching of my skin color so I just go over my whole eyelid with that and then we'll start with like fall colors so I am using the Ilia super super serum skin tint um so it's basically serum it's niacinamide squalane and hyaluronic acid uh, with some tint on it. So I feel like it actually really does help my face. My face is never clogged. Um, and so it comes in a little dropper. I just put a little bit on my beauty blender. And then a little, at least for me, goes a really long way because I like really like coverage. She got it for her birthday. From you. I know. <laughs> So if you like full coverage, this is buildable, but not to full, maybe medium. Mm. You can I like full still coverage. I like full coverage and I use the Revlon Color Stay 24 hours. That's my favorite foundation. And so I just put on the base layer that just kind of matches my skin tone. And now I'm going in with the Morphe 25D Oh Boy palette. Oh boy. And it's literally just nudes. Oh, that's a nice palette. So I am literally just gonna go in. I don't know what look I'm going for. I'm just gonna take this brown and put it all in my crease. Like I don't know if I go for like a nude eye with sparkles or just like a nude eye with a bold lip or we're not sure. Mackenzie doesn't know what she did. <laughs> but Mackenzie knew what I doesn't know. Foundation, always make sure you go down your neck with anything on your face, including moisturizer and sunscreen. 
<laughs> it's a little scary under all these lights looking at myself. <laughs> oh dear. I'm gonna take like this like reddish brown shade. The brown? Yeah, and hit the outer corner. Um, and we're gonna see how that looks. I use the Revlon Color Stay Pressed Powder. I have been using this since like 2014. <laughs> I love it so much. I use it as foundation too because I think it really does like just cover so much. Like I use this just by itself. Well, that's what she used to use by just by itself before she got the Ilia. Yeah, and I still do sometimes with the Ilia. It's just so good, but like it just I'm like combo skin really helps me. Like look at the difference between that half and that half. No good. Yeah, but it's still like. I don't think it's completely mattifying, um, which is nice, but I always go back in with highlighter anyways. We're just going to go in with a little brush and I'm going to go right underneath my line and just smooth it out. So we're starting with like the light brown color and I'm just going to go all the way under my lid. So now I'm going to be taking this World of Blushes Benefit Palette I've had forever. You have it too, don't you? Savannah ordered one. This was the best purchase she ever did. It was like $14. Yeah. And they sent her two. So Is that I, what it was? Yeah, and I, so I got one for free. Oh my God, that's so funny. I feel like I, I use it every day. Yeah. <laughs> so my favorite is the Rock Couture. Um, Dandelion is technically a blush, but I think it's a highlighter. Um, is that what it says? Oh, brightening face powder. Well, that's what she told me. Yeah. Because I used to use dandelion, but instead it's like that's a highlight, so I use Rocketeer and then go over dandelion for. I've never used California because I feel like it's only for summer and I always forget about it. Um, and then it's Hula Bronzer, mm. which is a great bronzer. So I'm gonna use the Hula Bronzer with this Real Techniques powder brush. It's a really big one, but I like it for my bronzer. I do too. Um, and if you want to elongate your neck, do bronzer. Down kind of the two two lines don't next to the that. center. I will I always do it down my whole neck. Just so I guess it matches my face. <laughs> yeah. Then I always do my jawline as well. Just make sure you blend it because it does have the potential to look crazy. So now I'm going in with like that deep like rust color and I put it underneath my eye and now I'm just going along like my lash line. And like, I'm just smoking it out, basically. And I always do my bronzer. This is just for my shape face. I always do it kind of up here next to my eye. Mm -hmm. I do it Rather. up there now too, cause she told me. <laughs> yeah, I like kind of do it right next to my eye and then smoke it out. Which is funny, cause I'm saying you told me all this stuff. Yeah, I do more makeup than you. I'm just gonna say you're the makeup person, not me. That's so funny. Like, at all. But she told me, like, how to get, like, the model look before. Because I'm not on, like, Instagram or TikTok or anything. And when, like, the model look went viral, everyone was posting about, like, how they did it. Mm -hmm. And now Savannah told me, and now I do it too. That's so funny. Now I'm going to take the Real Techniques, which these are the best brushes. Um, Real Techniques blush brush for my blush. I'm going to use the Rocketeur. Another one I really like is the, the Honest Beauty Cream Blush. I have that in there, but I've already set my cream products, so now I'm going to do um, powder. But again, I put this like literally almost at the corner of my eye, like right here. Um, like right here. Oh. I don't know why. I just like it that way because I don't feel like I, I usually don't really it on like the apples of my cheeks yeah maybe that looks bad i don't know i don't think so i put mine right over my bronzer as well yeah i kind of just blend them all together and then i could use dandelion for highlighter but today mackenzie convinced me to buy this and it's just it's the best well let's let's tell the story okay so i bought champagne pop which was done by jacqueline hill and Becca Cosmetics, mm -hmm. and I, it's like it's a basically her $50 highlighter. highlighter, but I found it on sale, it was like $15, yeah. 
And so I bought that and I dropped like it. Like a TJ Maxx. Yeah, and it shattered everywhere. And I was super upset because it was like the perfect highlighter. So Jaclyn Cosmetics came out and now they have this mini highlighter. This is the shade Iced and it is pretty much a replica of that. It's beautiful. I mean, the packaging is gorgeous, um, but I love this. And so I'm going to apply a little bit of that. And once again, Real Techniques, this is the contour brush. I use this for highlight. So I feel like it's the perfect size. Mm. I basically went in in my Tartlet palette and I went into the shade Funny Girl, which is this light gold. And I just went in to give it a base. And now I'm going, this was just my favorite thing ever. It's Zoella um, Times Color Pop. And I wish that they do their liquid shadows. They don't do them anymore. And I know this is years old, but it's still my favorite. And I use it every single time I have um, sparkles on my eyes. You really love Zoe. And huge fans. I've been watching her since middle school. I was going to say, we've been watching yeah. her for over a decade. And we love her. So yeah, she's so great. I'm a big fan. So, of course, supporting her as well. And I know that I probably shouldn't be using this anymore, but I don't care. It's okay. It looks really good. It does. Especially if it's only touching your eye. Mm. It's not like you're sharing it with other people, you know? Oh, no. No. Um, a life hack I've learned after you do all your powders and stuff, your face can look a little cakey. So take your damp beauty blender and just pull over everything. And I'm going in with a liner brush. And I am going to dip into this deep, um, like, espresso shade. And I'm going to line my eyes. So, I am also going to use, Kendi influenced me a couple weeks ago by this, the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion. Because she has oily eyelids and I have oily eyelids. And ever since I used this, my makeup doesn't smear all over the eyes, which is what she wants. Yeah, my eyelids are definitely oily and like even without putting anything on i feel like that just brightens my eyes yeah but well you could literally just put it on and your eyelids won't get oily exactly so i'm gonna take my bronzer this is what i do like your bronzer can be used as your eyeshadow it just kind of matches everything i'm just gonna sweep that yeah i do that more in the summers across my face like, yeah it's really nice just like that i hardly have anything on my eyes but i feel like it Done. Just like brings it together. Like model off duty. But I always bring a little bit under my eyes. I'm a firm believer in Lola Mascara. Yeah, same. I'm wondering if I should do any more shadow or just brown liner. I don't know. What are you feeling? Do you think you need more? Do you want to be more? I don't know. I'm a very simple person. I know. I'll probably stop here. <laughs> um, and sometimes I take brown eyeshadow with a brush like this that's really pointed. Um, and I'll do that. But I think today I am going to go in with this is the Revlon Color Stay Eyeliner 24 hour. Um, and it has, and this is the shade brown. Yep, shade 203 brown. So it has the eyeliner here. It also has a smudger and a sharpener down here. Nice. Which is really cool. So I like brown. I think that fits my eyes better because I have green eyes um, than black. And I'm horrible at eyeliner. You're so good at it. <laughs> Thank you. But I'm not bad at it. I just do it more. Yeah. So Don't you use liquid? Um, I honestly have been just using eyeshadow for the past year. I used to use liquid, but then I used to use gel. So this is it for the eye look. I'm just going in with my Lash Sensational and my eyelash curler. And I'm going to put on some mascara. It's funny because we're opposite. I start with my eyes and she starts with her face. I always think that's interesting. Yeah, I've never started with my eyes, but I hardly ever put anything on my eyes. 
See, I feel like that already looks bad. I don't think it looks bad. I think maybe when no, my mascara will look better. No, it looks good. I think it just gives a little definition. It's not like, yeah. You know, it's just like making your lash line look like thicker. Yeah. Ooh, they never look even. It doesn't have to. That used to really bother me when I first started doing makeup. Or I guess when I cared more, maybe. I wanted my um, eyelash to perfectly match. And I'd spend an obscene amount of time trying to get them to match. Yeah. And it's like at the end of the day, these don't match, but they still look good. So I'm happy. What do you think? Hold on. I think you look so pretty. Yeah. I really like it. Okay, now I'm going to move on to eyebrows, which I have a love-hate relationship with. This is the e.l.f. Precise, Ultra Precise Brow Pencil. I don't love this, actually, I'll be honest. This is really, like, ready brown, which mine is, like, a true, like, brown brown. Uh, so I, I the, all, the best eye pencil or eyebrow pencil I've ever used because you got me the Anastasia Beverly Hills mm. Precise Brown, and it was truly just phenomenal. Oh, but a long time it, it snapped in half. And it's like $25. And I was so upset. Do you remember that? Yeah. Maybe because you're this year. It's <laughs> over it too. Yeah. I'm going with my color stay foundation. I just pump it right on my finger. And I'm just going to go right in. Are your fingers really? I'm not. <laughs> well, a lot of people put on Ilia stuff? with their hands. Yeah. And I did that one time and it was bad. Well, I used to only use my hands to do my foundation. And, but now I use a beauty blender. Which I need to get a new one. Now to set my brows. I This is like such a throwback. The, just imagine the pink and green mascara <laughs> bottle. The I same company. That. This is Great Lash by Maybelline. But it is just clear. Um, it can be mascara. But I use it for my brows. And it really does work. But I will say, if it's below 30 degrees, your brows will freeze if you go outside. Well, not just because the gel. Yeah, the gel's wet. You know, it dries down. Yeah, I know, but over the winter, every time I'd be like walking across campus and I get like dandruff almost in my eyes because my, or my eyebrows, because it's really freezing. Same with eyelashes and mascara. Okay, and now the last thing I'll do, oh God, I feel like my eyebrows are super dark. Did no, I make them too dark? No. Okay. And now- Not to me, maybe because you're looking at a super bright light right now. Yeah. I, like I don't have the light on my thing and I'm just using this so. one. And I got a variety pack of mascaras to try and this is like the best one out of all of them so random because i never heard of it before this is the revlon so fierce big bad lash it's like literally four dollars it has look at how large this brush is. Well, that's really it is huge but i love it another one i really like is the honest beauty mm. it has a primer on one end which is interesting um so it makes it like it's not waterproof, but it feels waterproof, but it's really hard to get off. Mm. Like I wash my face really vigorously and I wake up the next morning with a bunch of mascara. I feel like that sometimes too. How does that look? Mm, it's good. Yeah? Mm. That is it for me. And that's like well, significantly longer than I normally do. <laughs> I'm like a really fast and she gets ready in like five minutes. Yeah. And she's gonna put on your lip gloss. Oh yeah, okay, good. Cause I put on my Vaseline. This is a lip gloss. It's called like a plumping lip gloss. I, I don't agree with that. It has like no effect on me. It's called the Lifter Gloss from Maybelline. It has hyaluronic acid in it. And this is the shade number eight, Stone. But it's just like the ultimate gloss. It's so 90s. 
This is a huge doe foot applicator. Love. Which I, that's the best part. Yeah, I'm afraid of plumping glosses. Didn't you try this though and it wasn't bad? I didn't try that. I didn't get one. Oh. Mom got that for you oh. for Christmas. I did not get one. But I love this because I'm terrible at applying gloss. I, I feel like it's mostly my skin color. Um, just like maybe a shade or two darker. Oh my god, you look so pretty. It's just so nice. You definitely give the mall off duty look. Especially with the hair today. Look at you. Savannah's hair has been amazing lately. She got compliments on it. Like learned how to give myself a proper blowout. And it looks so good. Like her hair has just been so nice lately. You take That's the complete look. Well, you always take longer, no, regardless. Not, I mean, for you, but like for me. I think oh, it's because really? we're having to talk. We're talking. Yeah, I never really talk in my makeup. Yeah. I'll probably, like, take my hair a little drier and give myself some volume today. Um, and do you want to do it right here? Use my makeup. Well, it'll be really loud. Yeah. Yeah. I don't want to. No, go yeah. ahead. You look fabulous. Thank you, but I'll wait. Savannah's makeup look. No, go do your hair. Yeah, but it'll be loud, and then <laughs> it's in your video. You still need to talk. Aren't you almost done? I'm almost done, so you don't need to. Yeah, so I'll just wait with you while you finish. Okay. Well, you can entertain us. Oh, okay. I want to be dazzled. Mm. Okay. Air spun. I've used this ever since I started using makeup. Yeah, My mom I used it. It's the ultimate powder. Yeah. It's so I'm good. just using the brush. And then I just stamp it on. I used to bake. I think I told you guys another video. Because I have really oily skin. But now I just stamp it on. I think I got you before with the bronzer. I don't think so. Hmm. You should go overboard. I do feel pale, so... I don't think you look pale. Oh, thank you. I think Actually, one of my friends told me I look tan. I think you I was do really surprised tan. by. The thing is, I'm pale. Yeah, but you've always been paler than me. Not, I used well, to be actually, tanner. Actually, as a kid, you were more tan than me. Yeah, I tan really easily, but I try to stay out of the sun for say, my skin. You just don't go outside. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well, like when I do go outside, I do, but like I'm really trying to be mindful of my like skin and like, um, you know, like sun exposure. Yeah, sun exposure. Sun exposure. And now I'm just kind of wiping this all off. Are you going to dazzle us? Well, that's a big ask. I always ask you to dazzle me. I know, but do I ever succeed? <laughs> <laughs> oh, why did you talk about we started watching Gilmore Girls, Savannah's first time. Mm. I've been trying to get her to watch it for years, and she hasn't. And we're finally watching it. And we're not, we're like 10 episodes in. Yeah. Um, so we're not that far, but tell me what you think. I think it's very cute. I Very wholesome, like, just good small town vibes. I I like the characters. I like Lorelai and Rory mm -hmm. and their dynamic and their humor. Um, I love Suki. <laughs> She's probably like my favorite character. Well, we started watching it because Savannah was like, oh, it's like a fall show. Yeah, everyone was saying it's like, gotta start in fall. Like, mm -hmm. So... Um, but yeah, no, it's it's just very wholesome. It's like something we watch usually an episode every night. Yeah. And yeah, it's just nice to watch. I like it a lot. I think it's fun. I'm waiting for Luke and Lorelai to get together. Mm. Like Why I know what's going to happen. I have yeah. no doubt. Um, I just don't know when. Yeah, Rory's with Dean right now. Rory's with Dean. Oh, Jared Padalecki. He's cute. He's so cute. He's my 90s dream. <laughs> I would so go for him. What do you think about the parents, Emily and Richard? Oh, 
Oh, they're a little unbearable, but I still like them. Yeah. Like they want what's best or like <laughs> or whatever. I like Lane too. I think she's. I like Lane. Lane. Yeah. Yeah. And let me think who else. Oh, Michelle is like Michelle, the French receptionist that kills me. He's so funny. <laughs> I don't want to be nice. Um, it's I your really job, like, Michelle. I really like him a lot. Yeah, it's just very cute. Like, yeah, it's a good vibe. Definitely, just wholesome, like feel good kind of show, which is nice to watch after I watch a lot of true crime. So, yeah. yeah. So I just took the bronzer, did it around my hairline, did it around my cheeks, and did it all the way down my neck. And now I'm going in with Rocketeer and Dandelion on an angle brush. Is there even an angle brush on that? No, I kind of did it in here. Okay, I see that. I always use more bronzer and blush than you. Well, I didn't use blush till last year. Oh my god, I know. I got made fun of all my life because I have such like red. I don't know, rosacea, or like I have a lot of redness in my face. So people used to make fun of me. So I wanted to be as like mad as pot. I don't want any yeah. color in my face because people were really mean about it. So, yeah, so. Well, screw them. <laughs> so they like the face when you're the brushes. I feel like I'm like making you sick. No, you're not. Aren't you almost done? Isn't this like your last step? It's in my eyebrow. Okay, and then you're done? Mm hmm It's okay. And then I just do all the access on my nose. It's a little shiny. Excess? Yeah. The access. Excess. The excess. Yeah, access is like I have access to a door. Excess is... No, the extra. access is like on a grid. That's the axis. That's A X I S. Is an axis on a grid. I have access to something. Oh. Is A. But if you have a lot of something, it's excess. I have like an excess. Excessive. Mm. I do know what you're saying. Yes. Mm -hmm. Going in with the Maybelline Brow Define Fill. I really like the pencil on this. I don't use the fill part of it, but I really like the pencil, and it's like my. I feel like the perfect color. And then I just oh, that's nice. I told you you should get it. I actually used to have it. Yeah. Mom bought this one one year for Christmas. And ever since she did, I've kept buying it. Yeah. No, I remember, like, I used the fill part and it was, like, crazy. The pencil's good, though. Yeah. But I don't like, like the I fill. I think the color looks nice. Yeah, I think so, too. I get it. It's soft brown. Yeah, that's the color I get on everything, too, usually. I feel like I'm, I'm kind of like a little bit darker maybe, you know? Yeah, I think my hair's gotten darker too. Yeah. But I don't want my eyebrows to be super dark. But maybe yeah. they should be. I don't know. And we got a brush in That's yeah. a fancy spoolie. I know. I did my eyeliner. Oh, wow. On this side and my spoolie on the other. I think this might be for the Especially eyebrows. for eyebrows. Yeah, yeah, but I use it for my eyeliner. <laughs> and it gives me good eyeliner. What do you think? I look great. Perfect. <laughs> and then, I normally put on, as you guys know, I've talked about this a lot. This is my favorite lip balm. It's a Neutrogena Revitalizing Lip Balm. And this one is in the shade Fresh Plum. But I think I want to go for a darker lip tonight. Yeah, but you can still put that over it, right? Well, I can put it on now. To moisturize your lips yeah. underneath. I usually pat it on like this. Which color? So Tool, Colourpop, I used to do a ton of different makeup looks. Well, I still do, but I love dark lips and I wear them all the time. Yeah. So Tool is like a reddish um, nude. It's not very dark. No, I used to wear it all the time though. And here are so, two like dark, dark ones. So it's more reddish, and this one's more brownish. Which one? What are you wearing? I don't know. Are you wearing that black? I think color? I might. But then I don't think you can go wrong. You want me to pick? Oh, I can't see my nose. I, I choose one of the darker ones. 
Um, I would love some more purpley ones on you, so probably the right one. This one? Yeah. I have, I have like a purple. Well, you chose those three, so I have those three. I would choose that one. I know. Should I go get my rest of my lipstick? No, I don't think that's necessary. <laughs> Let me just... I haven't worn a matte lip in a long time. Yeah. To be honest, I really don't do my makeup that often anymore. Because I used to do it every day. Yeah. Um. But, oh man, did I go out. I was gonna say, if she, you had like 30 plus colors you rotated every week. Oh my god, I my one of my favorites was gray lipstick. It was this gray blue, and I always get used to a lot of compliments on it. Yeah. Um, oh, see, that's like very purple. It's gonna be great. Yeah. in the dark it's been such a long time i love it so much i'm gonna have to go touch that up but <clears throat> let's see i haven't worn a uh, matte lipstick in a long time yeah. or dark lipstick in a long time and i remember i was so particular if like the color stayed it didn't smudge it didn't get on my teeth it like and i wanted to be perfectly opaque yeah so we'll we'll see i how think it looks good that's like Perfect fall look. You think? Do you like it? I love it. You think like with the eyes? Yeah. Okay. I really do. So here are our finished makeup looks. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I do like brownish, some gold sparkle, dark purple lip, and she went more neutral. I was gonna say very like neutral, I guess. Yeah, model like, of beauty. That's natural. exactly the look. It's like just an ant. Makeup without makeup. Yeah. Kind of thing. Yeah. You look beautiful. Thank you. To you. So thank you so much. So thanks for getting ready with us. Um and we will take you guys to the, the not the pumpkin patch. Corn maze. Corn maze. They do have a pumpkin patch. <laughs> so we might go there as well. Yeah. And they asked us to bring flashlights. I thought corn mazes were only in the daytime because I'm like, how do you see? <laughs> But I didn't realize people bring flashlights to do them. But apparently they need flashlights. Mm -hmm. And we have really good ones. So, so that would be great. Yeah. Bye. See you Bye. at the corner.